I He's got to be feeling good about himself. He had a very hard lane. Out. He played... You know, he did the... He didn't even die. He died in the lane once, I yes. think. But he played it back well. It's a super difficult lane for Zeus. Did a good job. He got some good rotations off. And he's having a massive impact on the game right now. He's got to be feeling good about himself and about Vichy's chances of winning this game. So they just got a massive lead now. Yeah, well, thanks for that set of racks there on the top. XP still hovering around the zero point. Vichy Gaming happy now to bring that back around. And I think the good thing as well for VG is, even though it's even, a lot of their farm is on this gyrocopter. He's now coming up to 16,000 in terms of net worth and, and how getting very, very scary. In fact, I think that might be the completed MKB. It is. Yes, it is. So MKB done on a how now. 31 minutes in with the BKB S and Y. And uh, just with the whole team composition, it's going to be so hard for Ehun to fight into, which is pretty much the problem they've had all game when they've been trying to hold back the side of VG. He's just one step ahead of, uh, of YJ already. YJ is building towards a butterfly. The MKB is already prepared. So when it comes out, it isn't really going to make that big of a difference, because what can you use it for? So you can try to dodge physical attacks that Vici Gaming aren't really using that much. The only one hitting hard is Hal, and he doesn't care about your butter. And all the others are all about the magic damage. So you still have the same problem when your BKB expires, you're toast. Like this, this lineup can easily output 2,000 magical damage onto a single hero within the span of two seconds, and that's his health right now. So, right, scary. Is. Trying to get the push on on this top lane, but he's going to have to TP back for the defense here, because Vichy already on it. DDC with Telekinesis onto Hal, trying to bring him back into this one. The good play as well, Hal getting low. Oh, he gets taken down before he can do anything in response. Fantastic play there from e home and now they're going to look for more. Looking for Fenrir, the song's going to come out. Trying to set this one up. Uh, should be able to find the Earthshake here. He's been left behind. They're chasing down. Fisher was stolen. A little bit off the mark. And Femra with the Glimmer Cape. Looking for the Dukes. And he's going to do it as well. Into the hiding spot. And TP's oh, out. My God. Very nicely done there by Femra. And Foy tries to TP out himself. But the Telekinesis there from DDC. Lanham as well. And oh, they'll take him down. So they do find two heroes there. E home. This time, the defense is more than successful. Very nicely done there by the Dyer. Solid play from DDC. Seeing the opportunity to engage there with the Blink Telekinesis. They blow up the Gyro immediately, and even if there's a counterplay for Vichy Gaming, they know they can just use the Song of the Siren and, and snare the target, lock him down, and try to bring him down as well. So, how in this situation, a little bit too aggressive for his own good. I mean, it's understandable he thinks he can go there, because he is, of course, he knows he's rich. He has big items, but they're not very good defensive items if he doesn't get the BKB off. He has no evasion. Uh, of course, going for the MKB buildup instead of the butter. They do punish him for it, although the majority of the damage they did was magical. And now, it's going to be a lot easier. There it is for CTY. is going to grab Guardian Greaves, so no mobility item for him. I guess they've got the initiation of Lanham with the song. and set it up for a nice vacuum wall combination coming out from RTK. So Sykes continuing to be incredibly rich. 2,300 down top of the Blink Dagger he's found on that Bloodstone. So the farm's still looking very, very good for Zeus. Roshan is now back up, and it's kind of a question whether whether Vichy feel confident enough to go for it. But it's going to be a little bit tricky, especially when you're doing it up against the lineup with the Naga Siren, who does have the song back online in 20 seconds. So they're going to try for it anyway. They're moving in. They're going to go for this one. Right, they're going to start it off here, VG. But I'm sure Ian are going to have to have something that they want to say about it. They're making their way towards the pit here. I don't know if VG want to keep, keep themselves sticking around. Lanham's got the ult available. And I think VG realized it might be a little bit too risky to go for Roche now. If nothing else, they get a lot of information out of going for that play. They, they find out Ehome's heroes. They force a rotation. They just wait now. Oh, TDC yeah. blinking forward. Are they able to disperse the house straight away as well? Oh, the Glimmer Cake is going to buy him time. The wall has to be dropped. Now the corner. How will the BKB trying to turn this round? Moving in. But the Laguna Blade is too much damage. CTY is able to take down the Giant Atlanta with the Song of the Siren. They're looking for more here. Will they be able to find it? Moving in onto Femre. Femre getting low. Move up the charges. They'll lose him. It's going to be three down, but they have found two in response. YJ is still alive here. Johnny the hits out, but Ice Ice Size, he might be able to clean this one up. There's a ball. Double kill now for Ice Ice Size. E home. Four of them hitting the deck. It's only D. DDC able to escape, and it ends up as a 4 for 3 trade, and Ice 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 very nicely being able to clean up off the back of that one. Ehome is doing such a good job at bringing down Hal with these yeah. initiations. This is the perfect type of engage they can get. They get the lift, they force out the BKB, they immediately song, and then they blow him up with the Laguna Blade, but still not able to find enough. And it's simply because Luna doesn't have enough damage items right now. They, they get kited a bit too long because they can't run them down and bring them down quickly. Ultimately, when the BKBs expire, Vichy's lineup is just... Oh, he's found DDC as well. Jumps in, drops a quick bolt. 
it's going to be a DDC does link himself up. But I've got to say, I saw Sizes' performance this game on this offlane Zeus. He's got seven kills, five assists, only died the two times. And he's, he's racking up the gold as well. 5,000 gold in his bank. This is this great play here from Ice Ice Ice. He could look for a refresher right now. I think it will be the right item. It's going to more or less blow up the Rubik with two ultimates. Uh, it's going to put Darkseer under a lot of pressure. And of course, you don't have to use it like alt, refresh, alt. You can use your entire array of spells, then refresh and immediately use it again. That way you get six static field procs. You get two ultimates. Of course, the lightning bouncing everywhere. There we go. Good choice. Roshan is now up. Axe is complete here on the Pugna. And uh, Zeus, uh, yeah, he's picked up straight up. Just buying it casually like that. Completed refresher orb. If he doesn't die in the BKBs of Eho, he has the potential to set his team up to win like a situation like a 2 on 5, in theory. If, if they're all like half health, and BKBs are out, Ice 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 can just be a one man wrecking crew right now. He's got 1400 on his way towards that blink dagger. We'll see if he's able to pick that up after one more successful fight should push him over the edge. But Pugna pretty much in his element now with that axe. And also holding the gem, of course, for the team. Four staff is also there, ready and waiting. And uh, F1 the Disruptor looking for the axe. And whoa, that's a lovely party ring with a stunning shot. But oh, I saw so with the old. Does get Laguna Blade down now with the light train. They bring down ROTK in response. YJ, CTY, and how all using their BKBs. How's going to try and chase down CTY here? The Song of the Siren coming out from Lanham. And it looks like it's going to be a defensive one as E Home TP themselves out. Simply trading ROTK for Ice 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 there. I think they're going to be happy that they did manage to kill that Zeus there because he's been having a great game so far. And as you can see from the golden XP difference, it certainly shows that Ehome come out on top there. Again, DDC, phenomenal play. He sees him in the pit, he lifts him, tosses him toward the edge, then they vacuum him over the edge, and they put so much pressure on the Zeus that he has to double ult. He doesn't even have time to cast the other spells. So his impact in the fight not what they were looking for. They still get a one-for-one -one trade and it's going to give them the road. But the conditions that Ehome are fighting under, that was still very, very good. She's going to go the way of VGM. With this, they may feel confident enough to try and push in another lane, try and go for a, for a second set of racks and tier threes. So looking in a very good position in comparison to Ehome. I mean, how's the actual overall graph looking? Okay, still about 7,500 lead here for VG. Not a massive one for 40 minutes in, but it's, it's a lead that's been good over time. And Ehome have never really been able to swing the game back in their advantage at this point. VG certainly in, in the driver's seat at the moment, and they're putting on the pressure on the bottom lane. YJ is trying to push up the top on his Luna on his own. VG Gaming just might be able to force him back if they want to go aggressive. They're going to move in here with the creep wave. How Super and Ice Ice ready to go and take this fight to the high ground of the Ehomes. YJ, he's going to live for this tier two on his own. Fortification will come out. And should be able to finish that one as he goes back in. The Nether Blast slowly coming out, of course, from Super, just whittling away at this tier three. Now Fenrir coming in as well. He has got that Blink Dagger. It's that last fight, so we'll see what he's able to do with the Blink. He's got Echo Sam available. All the ults are up for VG Gaming. Let's see who's, who's going to make the first jump here. Nether Ward down on the side, ready for him to fight into. And just heading up here on the Gyrocopter. A fair bit, and DDC's just going to jump on in straight away with the telekinesis, but how, of course, does have the edges, but look at this, with the reverse life trade, healing him up, he's still alive, he will finally go down now. Aegis is there, ready for round two. Can they kill him again? That's the question. No, he pops the BKB straight away. They found the tier three now. FY moving in as well. And he's trapped. Can Lanham here in the kinetic field and the static storm. They're moving in. They need to kill the Naga. She has got some available. And with the ult here from YJ, he's actually doing a significant amount of damage. It's not quite enough. Can he kill Ice Ice Ice? Now Ice 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 gets himself out. Looks like they'll only lose Hal here. Fenris actually stuck in the trees. He's got a blink in a second. Will he be able to make it? No, the damage is on him. Earthshaker's all stuck up. They'll find him as well here. The Yules just slowing down the pace. So they'll get the kill nonetheless. And Ehome again with the defense. They hold the base and they force Vici Gaming right back out. They are so good at this high ground defense. I mean, I'm gonna sound like a broken record, but again, DDC <laughs> finds the opening one more time. And they play it perfectly there. They find the kill on the gyro. They have to commit Laguna Blade to the first kill, but just bringing him down, forcing out the BKB immediately after. And their defensive play there, buying time. Even though Fenrir actually got a decent Echo Slime off to the side, he, he found two heroes. It's just not, not enough, and it's, the, it's really the Glimmer Cape that's doing a lot of work for the Dire. The Glimmer Cape usage from Lanham has been exceptional this game. It's 
One of the reasons we've seen Zeus fall out of favor recently is... Oh, man. CTY is going on so so. I don't know if he can... He's going to try and go for a solo kill potentially here with the light track. He's put the BKB as well with the Lagoon. Oh, he gets it! Nicely done there by CTY, finding himself a solo kill on the ice ice ice. Uh, he tried to tried to go for the counter kill. He did have Bloodstone ready to suicide, but thought maybe he could force CTY down there with the right clicks. And he was close. CTY is stronger in that exchange. Each game, and I've got to be careful here because Egon are finding a lot of very, very big kills in response to the aggression from VG. And the fact that YJ now has this butterfly complete, 1400 gold as well. He's only about. 300 gold or so behind the gyrocopter. So this Luna's going to start getting very, very, very scary. And it's going to be even harder for VG Gaming to, to, to break the base. As, as we've seen so far, pretty much over the last 10 minutes, they, they just haven't been able to do something because E-Home take the fight every time. And one of the luxuries that YJ has in this game is that he doesn't have to be very cautious with using Flutter, I feel. The gyro is going to hit him anyway because of the MKB, but the other heroes have so limited physical damage output that he can probably... Almost just use an aggressive flutter with his BKB just to run in, have 522 move speed, find his uh, his designated target, and just try to bring them down as fast as possible. Um, and it's going to put a lot of pressure on VG here. Very nice uh, pick up here from Lana. He's got the completed pipe of yeah. inside, which against VG's lineup is going to be it's going to be fantastic in these team fights. Pipe and glimmer against Zeus. How much magic resist does he have? 57 percent before he glimmers. The Thundergirls Raft just coming out to, to get a bit of intel from the side of e -Hunt, check where they're all at. I think VG will be, they'll be a little bit more careful about kind of looking for a fight and trying to get this push onto this spot. They might even just hang back and, and wait until Hal's got another item online. He's sitting on 3,400 gold at the moment, so maybe that's when they'll look to, to go for the go time again. And e -Home, I think uh, they're going to be more confident in leaving the base and looking for a fight themselves. Uh, Adam's got the song available if they want to try and set it up. They've got the wall, they've got all their ultimates online. If Ehome can find a jump onto VG, I, th I can quite easily see them coming out on top here. Moving Why? forward. Pretty good position here to maybe force a BKB from CTY. I think if he blink... If he blink glimpses him there, he might... fade out a BKB charge from CTY, but it's down to 5 seconds anyway, so it actually doesn't really matter. If they weren't looking to fight in the next 55 seconds, it makes no difference. Boy, is, is All BKBs are 5, right? I uh, believe so, after the amount of fights we've seen. Yeah, yeah. Most BKBs on the deck all at five seconds, and the fact that FY, of course, he is very close. Well, he's, he's halfway there to his Agony Scepter. Has the point booster, has the Ogre Club, so he's more than fifty percent of the way there. And that's going to be very nice against against the lineup of Ehome. If Actually, he's able to trap him, he almost has it. Seven hundred. Okay, he's got the stuff. Okay. Yeah. Okay. He's very, very close indeed. And but it's still going to be a little bit complicated to set it up because if he doesn't catch the Naga in the Static Storm, they can always just song and disengage anyway. And with the five second BKBs, the timing has to be exceptional to be able to bring down key targets with both Glimmer Cave and first pipe available for Lana. Now he's got a complete Satanic. So we've seen in these last few fights, one of the issues for VG is the fact that they lose how at the start every time. Now if he's able to get that Satanic off, um, it's still going to be very hard because he seems to always get kind of chain stunned, chain locked down. He's going to have to hope that he can even get the BKB off before the fight begins or be allowed that small window to, to activate it in the fight. So otherwise, the safe tank isn't going to be able to do him too much. But I guess at the least it's going to make him a lot more tankier with the extra HP. Yeah, he's uh, still finding some levels for some extra stats here, but I think this is about the peak HP he will have in this game. He'll have uh, maybe 200 more from stats and level ups and that's it. Like this is where well. Ehome, they're trying to go aggressive now. They're ready to try and look for a fight themselves onto the side of VG. Heading into the jungle here, smoked up. FY's going to back up. Pings are coming out. It looks like they're aware that something's going on. And v 